So by the time this video releases, it will have been three weeks since the preview for One Star's Confession was dropped on the Warrior Cats website, which includes the prologue and the first three chapters of the book. The reason I'm talking about this so late was that the last super edition, Leopard Star's Honor, was quite boring in my opinion, and I had a hard time reading it. Getting another prequel super edition treading stories we already know about, I'm less than excited for this one. The most interesting part of the new preview was actually the fact that when they posted it, the website got caught copy-pasting from the Warrior Cats fan wiki. They left a tiny little hyperlink in Rabbit Ear's description because they copied text from the wiki and didn't completely delete the four footnote after the word she-cat. They have since fixed it, but I did take a screen recording before they did so I have evidence it happened. I'm not even mad, it's hilarious. Serious high school essay level shenanigans. But what's not as hilarious are the contents of this preview. One of the things this preview does is make Ashfoot one star's sister, so Breeze Pelt and Heathertail are cousins. We already have One Star becoming mates with his apprentice Whitetail confirmed by the official family tree, so just another unnecessary decision here. One Star doesn't need more family. Like who read Prophecies Begin and thought, these Wind Clan cats are nice, but the story is held back by the fact that they're not all siblings. So those details aside, how about that preview? Did anything cool happen? Well, the prologue started with One Star's death. Oddly not the first time a super edition started with the main character drowning. Blue Star's prophecy was the same. And after that whole scene, we see One Star appear in Star Clan, ready to be judged to be accepted or not. But Toll Star is super reassuring, so there's pretty much no tension there. Honestly, not a fan of this. One, it removes any doubt about the ceremony going in favor of One Star. Two, the Star Clan Judgment Trial thing was an interesting addition to Lore and Squirrel Flight's hope, but I never want to see it again. It's just going to get stale, similar to how leadership ceremonies have become. And it sounds especially boring for a character with such an obvious outcome like One Star. Star Clan forgave Black Star. They'll forgive literally any cat so long as they're a hero character. In the actual meat of the preview, chapters 1, 2, and 3, Nothing super dramatic happened. Chapter 1, they find a badger and Bailey the kitty pet shows strength. Chapter 2, Bailey and her kits go to Wing Clan to be accepted, and Tallstar says, yeah. He has a kind of funny moment when Stagleap says that if the kits die, it will be on his conscience. And Tallstar's all like, so what? And acts like he can't be bothered by something as trivial as dead kitty pets. Like, okay, Tallstar. One of the kits named Melody, renamed Tansy Paw, starts to hate warrior training and wants to be a kitty pet again. I guess that's something new. Is what I would say if we didn't have similar character conflicts in Hawkwing's journey. Oh well. Chapter 3, One Paw and Morning Paw visit Two Leg Place with the kitty pet apprentices, and they all get in trouble. Overall, not much happened. We got a tease of One Paw meeting Smoke, I guess? The only point any of what we know so far gets interesting is when we remember One Star's story of his relationship with Smoke and Darktail in Shattered Sky. His excuse for turning Darktail away was that clan life is too harsh for kitty pets. Well, I think that's a pretty big hint that something awful is going to happen to Tansy Paw or Brush Paw or both. After all, we don't see them in the prophecies begin. It seems like the authors are including these two as a way of shoehorning in a reason for One Whisker to legitimately believe that Darktail wouldn't make it in Wing Clan. Which I mean, ugh. I've said this before, but Warrior Cats often has this strange aversion to making truly flawed protagonists. So rather than make One Whisker genuinely reject Darktail out of selfishness, or have One Whisker be slimy because he has two mates at once, they're going to go out of the way to give him a traumatic experience that forces the decision on him and pretty much justifies his actions. It's a painfully similar situation to the Leopard Star's Honor Super Edition last year. In her case, they cover up every bad decision she makes by painting them as well-intentioned mistakes. Mudfur says all she has to do is look to the future, as if all the consequences of her actions would disappear and her substantial character flaws would vanish if she just stopped thinking about them. 
and if they do something awful to Tansy Paw or Brush Paw, in order to give One Whisker a valid reason to turn Dark Tail away, suddenly abandoning his son will become a well-intentioned mistake as well. Why can't they ever just say to a character, Hey, you messed up, without including a, By the way, you shouldn't feel bad because it was the best decision you could have made given the circumstances. It takes the weight away from any mistake the character can make. The prologue sets the book up to be a, Let's look back at One Star's life to see if he deserves Star Clan, but it's a foregone conclusion he did nothing wrong before they can even get to the first chapter. Problematic characters are interesting because it leaves the reader second guessing if they're really on their side, but with One Star, they leave no room to guess, and the result will be a boring and predictable story. Should this not be the case when the final book releases, I will revise this analysis in a separate video. Alright, bye everyone!